Welcome to the Wachendorf Projector Tool tutorial. Today we will learn how to write our first JavaScript. I've created a small example project here with one page, a frame and two numeric fields and two variables. What I want to do is this numeric field here is set as input, so I will I can change it with the encoder and I want to execute some formula and the result of this formula should go into the other variable that is connected with this numeric field. So I will go into the variable manager and I will use the event on value change by owner. So whenever the value of the variable changes, the script will be executed. Okay, here I will choose execute script and this will open the JavaScript editor. First of all, I will create a new script by clicking here and I will call it just formula. The name is on you, it doesn't matter. Okay, first thing you have to do when you have created a script is apply it. You can see here applied script name, applied script path is empty. So now this, this file exists right here but it is not used yet for the event. So at first I have to click here to put it here. Okay, the JavaScript editor is very nice in some ways. You have here your normal editing window. On the right side here you have all the available variables that are in the project. This can be very helpful. Very helpful. And down here you have some of the uh, functionalities that are specific to, to our Wachendorf Projector tool that are not basic JavaScript. We will learn of them in this and other tutorials. So what I want to do is take the variable from the first numeric field, calculate with it a little bit and then save it into another variable. For this I will create a variable. Now the name that I use here is the same as the variable and the p client, but they, are, they don't automatically have the same value yet. They are completely un, uh, independent from each other. To get the, the, the current va uh, value of the variable, I will use the function get variable value. This function will obtain the variable value of any p client variable at the time when the script is executed. So in the variable name here, I will put the name of the variable test. So now when the script is executed, the JavaScript variable test, let me in fact rename it to test.js for JavaScript, this variable will now get the, var the variable value of this variable. Next I can do some calculation. I will just uh, divide by 2 and add 15. I don't know. It's just an example. And now what I want to do is change the value of the other variable that I created, test2. For this I will use the function set variable value. Here you see there are two parameters. First again the variable name. I said I want to change test2. And I want to put the value of the, oh, sorry, of the value of the variable test JavaScript into this variable. So here I will put test.js. With this simple script, I take the value from the, from the pclient variable test, I modify it and then I save this new value into test2. Let's see if everything is correct. Okay, okay. Save. And I will simulate this. And when I change the value, you can see that the value down here changes accordingly. 40 times uh, 2, no, 40 divided by 2 is 20 plus 15 equals 35. So this is really a nice way to um, 
modify incoming incoming variable values uh, and put them somewhere else. 